I welcome you all to the video lecture on the topic characteristics of population in India. We can also say features of population in India. This is the point which is related with the fourth unit of our syllabus that is about major challenges of Indian economy. In this topic, in this particular unit, major challenges of Indian economy, we are going to study some basic problems and challenges which are related with our economy. First problem and challenge is about the population. Second one is about increasing unemployment. Third one of increasing rate of poverty or existence of poverty. And the fourth major challenge is about the inequality of income and wealth. Out of these four challenges, now we are going to study the first challenge that is increasing population in India. Actually, the increasing population in India, it is a positive sign of the development for the economy. But in case of Indian economy, there is a problem of excess population. Therefore, instead of becoming a positive sign, this excess increasing population is becoming negative sign for the development of our Indian economy. In this particular lecture, I am going to explain what are the basic characteristics or features of population in India. At the outset, in this particular lecture, I will explain the most important sources of the data which we collect for counting or for measuring the various aspects of our population. And then we will see the most important source of data is census and I will give some brief and important information about the census of India. And then I will start with actual discussion on the characteristics of population in India. So let us start our discussion on the topic characteristics of population in India. At the outset I will mention, I will explain some sources of demographic data. Sources of demographic data, demographic data means the data which is related with various aspects of population. The data which is related with the various characteristics of population. The first important source of demographic data is registration of vital events. It means registration of important events. In the life of human being, the birth is considered as an important event. And in the same way, the death is also considered as a sad event, but it is also a considered as a vital events as whenever a birth takes place or whenever a human being takes a birth then we do register that particular event in certain local bodies or local offices and we will get the certificate for that particular event that is known as birth certificate means the event of birth is registered in the hospital and that event of birth is also registered with the local bodies. For example, at primary health center, we do register that particular event. At municipal offices, we do register that particular event. In case of rural areas, at Gram Panchayat offices, we do register that particular event. In the same way, the second important event that is the death of a human being, it is also registered with offices. After the death of a particular individual, we do take a death certificate from the concerned authority. So that is also the event which is registered. And the third important event in the life of the human being is marriage. In the marriage bureau, we do register that particular event. So in this way, 
the information regarding birth and information regarding death we will get we will collect this information from these offices where we do the process of registration for these particular events so this is the first source of demographic data that is registration of vital or registration of important events like birth marriage death the second source of demographic data is about sample survey in this particular sample survey for the fulfillment of the data for collecting the data the surveyor selects a particular area and surveyor do the study of the population of that specific area only for example in order to study the features and aspects of the population of maharashtra the surveyor can select the only maharashtra state and he conducts the study of that particular state and that study is limited up to that particular state and this is what the example of sample survey is and through the government agencies through these sample surveys they do conduct the study of population at specific times then the third source of demographic data is population census this is the most important source of demographic data in our country after every 10 years interval we do conduct the population census for whole of the india and through this population census it is the primary source of the data each and every individual of the country is counted in this population census and this is the most important source of demographic data and the fourth one is international publications some international organizations like world bank international bank for reconstruction of development that is world bank world health organization labor organization international monetary fund these international agencies do conduct certain survey and they do collect certain data regarding the population for their own research projects and these are the international organization they do publish their publications they do publish their own reports and this is also one of the sources of demographic data so in this way these are the four sources registration of vital events sample survey population census and international publications through which we will get the data regarding the aspects of our population now the most important source of demographic data is population census here the definition of population is census given as the population census is the total process of collecting compiling and publishing demographic economic social data pertaining at a specified time or times to all persons in a country the most important thing here we should remember that the population census is the total process of collecting and compiling and publishing which data demographic data economic data and social data these three are the important components and this population census is conducted at regular intervals and usually every 10 years for example the recent population census we conducted in our country in the year 2011 and before 2011 this population census was conducted in the year 2001 means after the gap of 10 year the population census collects the particular data so this is what we can study we studied the population census 
the next fact of the census of the population we will see in the next slide that is beginning of modern census in india was in the year 1872 in the british era we initiated the process of census in our country but at the time in 1872 in that particular census we just counted the number of people that is head counting only means we just counted how many people what number of people are residing in the country not we studied the various different aspects social and economic aspects of the people but since 1881 onwards a complete decennial census were held it means from 1881 onwards we started continuously counting the population after every 10 years the first census took place in 1881 second after the 10 years 1891 and then after the 10 years 1901 and so on and so forth it get continued since 1881 the first census in independent india conducted in the year 1951 some facts about the population census of 2011 i am going to mention here the first one is the census organization of india recently conducted the 15th national census and the commissioner and registrar general of the 15th national census was mr c chandra mauli and it is the 15th national census which covers 28 states seven union territories including 640 districts of the country 497 cities 5767 tehsils and 6 lakh villages on the basis of the census and some other important sources of demographic data we can explain these important features these important characteristics of our population here the population characteristics of population we can classify in 12 different types and in these 12 different types we will learn about the 12 different aspects of our population in this particular lecture i mentioned what are the sources of demographic data and how the census is the most important source of demographic data some facts about the census some facts about the recent census which was conducted in the year 2011 these are the information which we do collected from this particular lecture in this particular lecture i stop here and from next lecture onwards i will start the discussion on the characteristics of population in india thank you